Hey guys, welcome to Gearing Up. Now I have preached since I started this channel about budget gear that works really well. And this guitar is the epitome of that. This is a Jackson JS-22-7 Dinky. It is $200. I went to Sam Ash the other day looking to trade in my Rockstar power amp, which you'll see is missing. And I was just gonna take the cash and run, but I got the urge while I was there to play just some seven strings. I am not a seven string player. I don't gent, I don't know how but I do have a little bit of experience from just tuning down a six string guitar and playing stuff from like Dream Theater's Awake album or even some of the newer stuff as well. Uh, so I just, I got the urge, I sat down and played them. I knew I wasn't gonna buy one. I knew I wasn't gonna take the thousand plus dollar guitars down and play those because I'd probably fall in love with them and that's what happened here. Um, <laughs> but so, so I just took the cheaper models I took guitars from $200 to about $450 for this used Ibanez that they had there. Played pretty nice, but of all of them, this is the one that I like the most. It's The, the action's perfect on it. The pickup, pickups are actually great um, for you know a cheap guitar's pickup. Uh, yeah, the only thing that I get to get used to is the size of the space between the frets. That's Especially up here, it's a bit of a stretch for me, so I'm not quite accurate with it yet but uh, it, it's almost natural feeling. I was scared that having that extra string to mess around with would throw me off, but the patterns kind of remain the same that you would use. And yeah, it, it feels I mean, it, it feels like what it is. It feels like a guitar with just an extra string on there. And the options are much greater. The sound is just mean. <laughs> So yeah, that's using the Axe FX model that I made in a couple videos prior to this, which is actually tone match of this amplifier right here. Um, so yeah, let's go through a couple of the riffs on that mini song that you guys just heard. So you can kind of hear the guitar by itself, hear the, the quality of the cheap pickups that are in it, which is, in my opinion, fantastic. And yeah, just judge for yourself, and I definitely recommend picking one of these up when you're in a guitar store, even if you're not gonna buy it, just try it, it's crazy. It's, it's that good, just at least try it one time. All right, let's go through my favorite riff in the whole song, which is this So yeah, it does stuff like that really well. Um, the alternate picking stuff, the action is good enough to be able to do stuff like that. I have not found any fretting out or anything like that. The, the There's a little bit of fret sprout. That's uh, probably my biggest complaint about the guitar is they're especially down here towards the lower frets. Up here it's not, not even an issue, but that one right there is sticking up quite a bit. All right, let's let's clean it up just a tad. I'm actually just going to switch to the neck pickup and just barely bring in some volume so it's still going to be a little dirty. Um, and we'll play the more tame riff in the in the song. <laughs> It can clean up. The pickups are actually pretty high, so um, it, it doesn't clean up like what the music man would. So here's a little clean guitar for you too, since there was no clean in the song. Uh, volume all the way up, tone all the way up, neck pickup. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will put a link to where you can buy this guitar in the description. Please comment, please subscribe, please watch my other videos, and have a great day.